just took about 15 minutes to launch it up in the living room right where it's looking really really great and one other thing that we had brought from the home depot well I mean, when i tried it the first time at the end of yesterday i'm like what <laughs> hello guys so it is already after midnight the time is 12 31 a.m and i would like to start today's vlog with a surprise cool what this says yeah by the way we have bought it from the home depot earlier it says first i drink my coffee then i do the things that's what matches the daily routine pretty much we don't have any sort of plans to frame it due to its material it's strong enough like this had only come in paper this is why we had framed this one but yeah what a slogan and now it is next morning the time is 10 10 a.m how funny it's 10 10. look at this by the way that is one other thing that i did get myself yesterday after having a look through all the polo stuff and making holiday jokes so it doesn't really start out the way that was actually expected but with the poster that you have seen right at the start Wait. like it just took about 15 minutes to launch it up in the living room right where the tv is and i mean it's funny it's actually really really funny it's like saying eat sleep jog and run and eat a sandwich and repeat and from here you can tell who this because this is actually a painting by the way i can see the painting was made by looking really really great and one other thing that we had brought from the home depot was this mini sofa does this even look like a sofa though we made it like a sofa just because we put a pillow on it but it's more like a cushion actually and it feels as soft as a bean bag i i can't lie about it i mean when i tried it the first time at the end of yesterday i'm like what <laughs> it feels a bit weird that's why i thought already the second game of survival in the world cup tournament is being played and the us has gone ahead of iran five minutes ago it's the game of the tournament i can really say it's very tense it's very bloody the two wins are calm but it would be like freaking hell oh my god number two is coming whoa nearly there man so the game has just paused for the break and i'm looking at the other game that's going on in the group still goalless and so relying on that the us is still ahead on the most intense game of this tournament right that's the end of the game and the us take it with a 1-0 win but towards the end it was just that the players were out of shape and there was not so much action there was not so much composure but very well play and very well fight until the end it was wonderful and post-match at least there's no bits of tension although everyone was saying that this was going to be the bloodiest game of the tournament us versus iran to be fair the referees were not really good either yeah don't forget that i do have two nationalities turkey and the us and it's obviously a nice feeling to see at least one of them play in the world tournament and see how it goes in the next round because the puzzle has been solved well it was a very sentimental ending to this game though like the players didn't show too much reaction many of them well from both teams i gotta say many from many players from both teams just sat down and took it simple after this game while some walked really really slow to the middle of the field and that's what it should be like anyway although the relations between these two countries has been really really explicit over time in history so guys i am going to make this another very very short vlog as tomorrow we'll head to westminster and we'll do a bit more of this kinds of shopping shall i say 
but we got another few days until we drop my mom off so we'll take the car out as well to wash it the tank so i will see you guys in the vlog tomorrow that's gonna be it for today i'll see ya